So this question starts off with a set of equations, um, actually a set of inequalities. So I'm going to just rewrite those over here. Y is less than or equal to 3x plus 1, and x minus y is greater than 1. So the question says, which of the following ordered pairs x, y, satisfies the system of inequalities above? So I think that the best method here would be to use a strategy called plug-in answers, right? Each of these answers is a, an x and a y value. And in order for it to satisfy the system, that means I should be able to plug those numbers in to the system, and it works in each case. So if we're trying out answer choice A, for instance, where x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to negative 1, then I can just test that. So for the first, or for the first inequality, that becomes negative 1 right, instead of y. So instead of y is less than or equal to, I have negative 1 is less than or equal to 3 times negative 2, right? So instead of 3x, I have 3 times negative 2 plus 1. But I can see if that's true, negative 1 plus I mean, negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 6 plus 1, which means negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 5. And that is not true, right? Negative 1 is not less than or equal to negative 5. So choice A is out. There's no need to try the second inequality in this case. So now we're going to go to, uh, to choice B. So with choice B here, same thing, x equals negative 1, y equals positive 3. So when I try choice B, I'm going to plug those numbers into my first inequality. So I have, uh, instead of y, I have 3 less than equal to 3 times negative 1 plus 1, 3 less than or equal to negative 3 plus 1, 3 less than or equal to negative 2. That is also not true, right? 3 is not less than or equal to negative 2. It's greater than negative 2. So now B is gone. So A and B are both gone. Now I'm going to try C right here, where X is equal to 1 and Y is equal to 5. So we're going to just really continue the same process. So instead of Y is less than or equal to, I have 5 is less than or equal to 3 times 1 plus 1. 5 is less than or equal to 4. That is also not true, right? So by default, D must be the right answer. I'm a big fan of just trying it. It hasn't taken that long to do this. Um, in real time, this would have taken much less time than I've even taken right now because you wouldn't need to explain anything to anyone. But let's just try it and make sure I haven't made some type of math, some simple math error elsewhere. So choice D should be the one that works, and that tells me that when X is 2, I should get y is negative 1. And when I try that, I have negative 1 is less than or equal to 3 times 2 plus 1. Negative 1, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So negative 1 is less than or equal to 7. That is true. And now let's try the second equation or the second inequality, this one here. So that one tells me that 2 minus negative 1 is greater than 1. 2 minus negative 1 is the same as 2 plus 1. And 3 is greater than 1. That is also true. So that just further confirms that D is the best answer here.